it's just, it's so, relationships are just funny, you know, like learning the lay of the land. <laughs> have, have you, have you seen him deal with stress yet? Has yes. he seen you deal with stress? Okay, good. Yes. Yes. And, you know, do you, do I, you want to take charge of the situation when he's in stress? Um, so I am really excited to chat with you tonight because this particular topic, I chose this topic because I, I actually happen to be a very independent woman. So I'm really, really ready to kind of hear your thoughts and gain your wisdom too. Being an independent woman, um, what are some things we can, we can do just in general to, to keep that balance of male and female energy, right? And I've learned a lot in this last year about that. And so I'm really excited to chat with you about that. So here's my first question. How do you feel about independent woman, uh, an independent woman, like always going out there and going for all of her dreams and making all this stuff happen? Like, do you have like cues that you're like, oh gosh, I could see this problem happening. Like, can you kind of see things in a relationship that you know, an independent woman together with maybe an independent man or not, um, those things will occur. Hopefully that makes sense. So how are you defining independence here? Is it in the context of a relationship? Yeah, I mean, for me, I would say just like, doesn't need to be around the person all the time, like really likes to hang out with their friends, um, is always outgoing and doing things, uh, going for their dreams, making big goals, like that kind of, um, sadly, I think like looking at the relationship as something that's an extra in their life and maybe not their only. When you're in um, a relationship and, um, you're independent too much, you're not really in a relationship. Mm. If you're too independent and you're going on, say, a weekend with the gals out to Vegas, I mean, and he's not real hip about that, that's, that's not really too much of a relationship, is it? Right. right. Or what about, I mean, you could see it from his perspective too, right? Mm-hmm. So, so how invested are you when you cross that line? Now, mm. uh, um, of course, they should be supportive of you if you are in a long-term relationship with your wants, your needs. Uh, he should be sensitive to those things. I've seen it in others, though, mm -hmm. where the independence creates some, a bit of competition. And I can tell you from a male perspective that it's very difficult to be in competition with the woman you're in a relationship with. And even mm -hmm. if it's not open competition, and I see this with career women that, that are pursuing a career and uh, distance and walls get built up, and I, it, it has to do with has to do with attraction. It has to do with, uh, they, men do feel competed against, particularly when a woman is more successful. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you this from a male perspective. From a male perspective, they, we really find attractive is when a woman supports our purpose. And when they see our success, it's her success. And she's proud of that and mm -hmm. looking forward to that. That's very, very attractive in a woman. It, right. it, it almost transcends beauty, really. Uh, it, beauty is a factor always, but that does transcend and, and it, it binds a relationship together very, very solidly, the male and the female that way. Do you think that most masculine men want independent women or are attracted to, let's use attraction. Let's use attraction. I love this question. Most of them are interested or attracted for anything beyond just the physical attraction for an independent woman? I mean, I always assumed being a go-getter and like having your own life figured out and being your own person and like go going your own direction, like that is attractive. And so that's always, well, first of all, I've always liked to do that, but I've always been kind of proud of that. But it's really mm -hmm. interesting to hear because I also can see how that could come off as you don't need the man or the relationship and, and then that the energies again, like are off. So yeah, I, I definitely, um, I hear you on that one. Right. So, so do you think that men are attracted to that type of independent woman? I, I think so, but now I'm confused because. <laughs> well, I'll tell you this. They are okay. attractive for a very short-term relationships. I can guarantee mm -hmm. that that's men's nature. Mm -hmm. For a long-term relationship, what a man is truly looking for, and I can tell you by experience, friends, 
and having been around a long time, they're looking for a co-pilot in life. That is the mm. most attractive thing. And what does mm. the co-pilot do? They support the pilot flying mm. that aircraft so that right. they arrive at their destination safely, right? Right. Or I heard another analogy that's really good that involves the attraction. Imagine, imagine the man is a, a potluck barbecue and he is gonna cook a wonderful steak, right? Yeah. And the woman is going to bring the side dishes and he invites her to bring the side dishes. He's got this steak ready. He's got it peppered. Everything is ready to go. It's going to be delicious. She shows up with another steak. Right. Not, it's going to be good to have the steak, right? And you'll enjoy right. it. It'll be a carnivore fest. Right. But you know the side dish, if chosen wisely, is going to enhance that meal 10 times more than two steaks, right? Right. That's kind of how I see the, the long-term relationship, if you can maintain that kind of attraction and be cognizant of it, mm -hmm. you'll be great in a long-term relationship. And, and it does take you to think about it because we are all driven right. uh, by the firmware that we are given from the factory <laughs> that mm -hmm. drives our thoughts and our emotions. And men and women do things somewhat differently when it comes to this. Right. Men will apply logic, women will apply emotion, and then mm -hmm. men will apply his emotion to that decision and then women will apply her logic afterwards so it's a little bit backwards but it's very complementary very much mm -hmm. like the yin and the yang right mm -hmm. each piece has a piece of the other if you think of the yin and the yang symbol one piece let's say is masculine but in the middle there's a dot right what is that mm -hmm. dot that's that feminine side right just right. a little bit and then the other side of the woman is her feminine energy mm -hmm. excuse me and then there's that little masculinity now right. if those little dots grow too big in either one Look what's going on with young men, millennials today. Yeah. A big portion of that femininity inside their masculinity. How attractive is that? It's not. No. I mean, others have it's called not. it the wussification of That's American the... males, right? That's not right. attractive. Right. And then, and then when you put the two together, if they're balanced, God, it's yeah. amazing. It's the purpose of the universe. Right. That's what we're here for. Right. And it's so, so interesting because you know, I'm currently in a new relationship and our energies are very much the yin and yang. And it's so different because being, being someone who's used to leading now realize leading and being independent, doing what I want and da, 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 and like, you know, going for all the things. And now, you know, I am seeing like, okay, more of that complimentary side. And I have to say, it's, so attractive. It's really interesting. You know, like when you do kind of like let go a little bit, how much more exciting it can be because I feel like the bond is just obviously so much tighter, you know? So. Oh, exactly. Christy, let me, let me ask you about that. Cause that's an amazing feeling, isn't it? I mean, yeah. that first level of attraction is quite heady mm -hmm. and there's actually something there that from nature gives us, we actually produce these chemicals and it, it is nature's way of, pardon my French, of keeping us procreating, right? I mean, right. that's part of it. Now here's the key. Those wear off. And they right. happen to wear off in a couple years, just long enough to reproduce, right? Okay. Right. So there's some science behind that as well as us being essentially mammals, or if you take that view, however that may be, um, the key is how do you maintain that level of attraction so that you have those feelings or you can generate those feelings right. throughout that relationship. And I can mm -hmm. tell you it can be done. You can absolutely maintain your attractiveness. There's a couple keys to it. Some of them is making sure that you're always improving yourself. That is extremely attractive to your partner. Mm -hmm. If you get together and it's so heady that you think you can quit with everything, what happens after that first couple of years in a long-term relationship? They get fat, they get out of shape. They start talking bad about each other in public not no. good thing, right? No. And you've heard this if you've had relationships. Oh, my husband this, my wife that. Right. No. Right. So let me ask you, do you know how to maintain that feeling? No. I mean, I have to be honest with you that um, my whole life I've been more of that, you know, that my little dot has been bigger. And so learning how to make it smaller and be okay with it being smaller and being all right, feeling safe, honestly. And so we were, we were talking about independence and trust and how do you build, you know, I have some questions about how do you build trust in a relationship mm -hmm. with an independent, you know, 
person. But basically, we're kind of talking about it as a whole right now. There is no such thing as trust. If you aren't in balance, you're just going to be not in balance. What makes men trust women less? What's something that would make a man trust a woman less? Well, I can tell you the number one thing is if she has a lot of guy friends, a man's not going to trust her because <laughs> we know men's nature. Right. <laughs> right. And I know women's nature. That's going to be one thing. Um, it, it depends on her level of interest in you and her history. I mean, honestly, if you do what you say and you take care of yourself and you, you it's actions, not words. That's mm -hmm. really what it boils down to. It's not what they say, but it's what they do. One of the things that I, that I can come up with right away for all relationships is um, one thing that kills it for a guy is, is, is a lot of, a lot of uh, gals will want an immediate response on their text. You mm -hmm. didn't text me right away. Did mm. you check in at work? A little bit of possessiveness. Oh, and maybe some nagging to right. get things the way they want. Those are some of the things that tend to erode the trust too. Um, let's say you are in a new relationship with someone mm -hmm. and you do want to start to build the trust of, you know, I'm a loyal person. I'm, I'm going to be a person in my word. What are some things that guys like to see from a female right out of the gate or don't like to see from a female right out of the gate? One of the things I would look for would be, does she make your priorities her priorities? Mm. I'd be looking for that. Uh, does she surprise me with acts of kindness and appreciation? Very Sounds very simple. Right. Right? But it's right. super, super important because that's what I'm going to be returning to her, right? Yeah. Uh, and, and does she, I'm going to, I'm going to, when I have successes in life as we're dating, does it make her proud? Right. And when she speaks about me to others, is she in a positive light? Is it always in a positive light, both of family and not? Right. Also, I'd be looking at some of the other values that she brings. Is she organized? Does she take care of herself? Does she pride herself in her self-care? Mm -hmm. This is going to last a long time. I want her to take care of herself before me because if she doesn't take care of herself, she can't take care of me. Right. Super important. Sounds simple. Be amazed how many people don't do that, take mm -hmm. care of themselves, right? Right. Um, so, so I like that. Uh, I'd look for... Um, Something else, I get to know her friends and I would like to see that she is the influencer. Females are influenced by other females. This is okay. really true. I've watched little cubbies of people that I know. All of them all of a sudden go through something I call divorce uh, um, right. fad because one of them gets a divorce. They all get together and start talking about all the bad stuff and over a course of time, yeah, boom. There you go. You know, right. um, they're all getting divorced. And uh, so another thing that's important to me is the sex. Sex is the glue that binds the relationship. Mm -hmm. Now, ladies, I'm probably going to upset you, but once a week is no sex. Not you guys enough. can go somewhere else. No, okay. not even for the woman, right? right. Now, I'm not saying every day, but it's super important. It binds, it creates brain chemistry that bonds these two together. It's mm -hmm. super important. And if you get to a point, let me just say this to everybody out there. You get to a point where the sex is not there. You need to do something. There is a problem with the relationship because mm -hmm. that's what bind men and women together. It really is. It's a beautiful right. thing. Um, it's how we survive. It's how we procreate. It's how we carry the species on. Right. And it bonds us together. So if that's happening, you need to take an assessment on what's going on. There's an attractment of loss. You know, mm -hmm. I've heard it many times from my clients where, oh, my wife says, she loves me, but she's not in love with me. Or I've had other experiences where, oh, Thursday night, has sex night. Right. Guys, if you're calendar. having that, you're not getting the most out of your relationship and you're doing yeah. yourselves a disservice. I, I've, watched, I've watched a woman correct a man's English in public for oh, her gosh. partner unnecessarily. And it's so destructive to their relationship and, and she thinks she's doing him a favor by correcting him well she's being a mom oh you do not i mean there are men that want moms but guess what i'm going to use i'm going to use the term beta <laughs> versus mm -hmm. an alpha uh, um, even even a high functioning beta doesn't want a mom right no, he wants a wife or a girlfriend he right. wants a partner so yeah. so mothering your man whether it's in a long term or or a marriage is is not good for the attraction it will right be. 
it will wane. Just demasculizing, sure. pretty much. Right, right. Yeah. Getting in, and then and then being untrusting. Uh, who are you texting? What are you doing? You know, mm -hmm. th those things are not necessary. Look, a person's going to do what they're going to do, Kristen. Mm -hmm. They're going to do it whether or not you ask. <laughs> You're right. Yes. When a woman is proud of her man and makes that expression, it's huge for a guy. He idolizes those things. Mm -hmm. He absolutely does, you know. Mm -hmm. And you, you can see guys that, that I, they, 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 they love that sort of attention from the woman where the woman's almost, I'm just going to say, almost worshiping them. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I'll just tell you, they like it from all women. So don't get hurt if he's getting, in fact, be proud if another woman is interested in him and yeah. congratulate, I'll tell you, this is a secret, congratulate him on still being so attractive that a young woman is interested in him. She mm. will be so hot and bothered for you for saying that, I'm telling you. <laughs> That's a great tip. I hope everybody who was yeah. watching wrote that down. Because <laughs> sometimes girls can get really um, flustered or frustrated or even mad at the other girls and even take action at other women, you know, you talk to my man or whatever, and just, just, you know, having that gratitude and that, wow, I feel so special that he is adored by other people. And, and instead of taking anywhere else, just being like, well, let me ask you this. doesn't every woman want a man that other men want to be and other women want to be with? Of course. Who wouldn't want to be with that man as a woman? Right, right. Of course. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, it, it does feel nice to have other people think, okay, this person's attractive, they're nice, they're, you know, whatever, all the different qualities that they are, 100%, you know. And I'm sure they think that same, yeah, they think that same way about having a woman who's adored by other people, as long as that person still comes home to them, you know. So how do you feel? Let me just ask you one out, out of the blue. Mm -hmm. So if a woman gets disappointed in her man, what should her actions be? What would you do if you're disappointed? Let's <laughs> say in particular with his career. With his career? Yeah. Gosh, I feel, I feel like that is a huge blow to be upset with someone for what's happening in their career. Um, Cause it would be for me too. I would say if you didn't like what was going on in their career, I would suggest, and granted I might be totally wrong, um, but they you sit down and just say, you know, what's going on with work? How are you doing? How do you feel about it? What are you thinking about it? Kind of being more of that secondary, like just asking questions and kind of helping them bounce ideas. And do you want to stay in this? Like, what else do you think that you would want to do? I don't know. I would, I would try to have the conversation to be helpful and help them come up with some other better option if they wanted another option or if say they got demoted at work and they didn't, you know, and, and they couldn't leave or they didn't want to switch jobs, just, you know, that's okay. Like, it's all good. You'll figure it out or, you know, it'll be fine. Like, it's not a worry. I mean, because I could see that being a major issue if a woman was to be like, I can't believe this happened or what did you do to make this happen or something like that. I'll um, tell you, it is a major issue. Yeah. And I have had coach guys that have had career issues. And it is something that causes a severe loss of attraction. And some of the women replace them in. Um, and your, your line of thinking, it, it, while it's very good, if you think about it for a minute, it's a little bit mommy-ish. To, to, it to it is, like probably. That. Right? <laughs> yes. Uh, and mommy usually is not going to kick the, boy, uh, the man in the pants a little bit, you know? Right. And, and so, so sometimes a guy needs encouragement. You know, you might lose that woman if you don't. I mean, you can be encouraging and you could be supportive without having to, to say those things that sound mommyish, right? Mm -hmm. So you got to put a lot of thought into that. You can be supportive. I support you in whatever you're going to do. I know you'll rise above this thing. That's mm -hmm. a little different than how do you feel and all that stuff. It's like, right, you know what, right, you're right. a man, you're going to have to set your feelings aside. Yeah. You're going to have to buck up and suck it up. Right. But I'll support you in whatever you want to do with that. Right. So let's gotcha. go get them, Tiger. So it's yeah. a little bit different, right? So like more of that sideline coach. Uh, <laughs> you got this, you know, get but it to talks it. to a man. It talks to a man a little bit. And, you know, it really does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, that makes I, sense. I mean, there's nothing wrong with your thinking. It's dead on. It's just that approach, right? Yeah. It, that approach can feel a little mommy ish after time, right? Right. But, but it is communication. It's just, yeah. We're all trained that way, tougher. right? Be a little bit tougher. Yeah. Let him rise up. I think sure, that's great. Sure. I mean, you, you value yourself as a high value woman, right? So yeah. you had a, you're having a disappointing his career. Maybe 
maybe he screwed up and got fired. Well, okay, that was a while ago. Right. Let's get over it. I'm a high value woman. I'm going to stand by you, but you're going to get up as a man and you're going to take it to the next level, right? Right, definitely. It's, awesome. it's interesting you ask this question because um, I was a little bit disappointed with my man this week, which really? is hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. But, yeah, so I'm like, um, but it, it's not about career. He's doing yeah. great. But I, and he didn't make plans this week for when he was going to come see me because I know he was busy, but I was just like, Ugh. Like, just irritated. <laughs> so being that that is the situation, if, if a woman is in a place where she feels like she should communicate a frustration or a disappointment or something, but doesn't want to be naggy and doesn't want to tell him what to do, how does she communicate uh, something like that where she's frustrated, like, I need, I need to know when I'm going to see you? Or Because honestly, it, it made me feel not a priority at all. That's what it's made me feel. So it's not that I don't know when I'm seeing him is it's that where do I fit into the equation of your life you know what I mean and I know that that's like definitely women go way way ahead of the game because he's coming this weekend but um what is your suggestion on that <laughs> <laughs> well I hope I'm understanding it correctly here um you're feeling in need of some attention yeah sure. and you're a little disappointed because it's not coming yeah yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> that Believe it or not, it's a good thing, okay, because he's okay. a high-value dude. And a high-value dude has a lot of stuff going on. He just doesn't see it the same way that, that a woman would. Right. And, and that doesn't mean he's sh shutting you down. He just has a lot going on, and he has options in his life. That makes him a desirable man. Right, um, he does. And, and, if, he's, yeah. and if you're too disappointed, you, you run the risk of being a little bit pouty, Mm -hmm. And a high value guy is going to look at that like, I thought she was independent to take care of her own shit. <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> so, so you're going to have to, um, you're going to have to do some tricky girl game. You're going to have to. Uh, oh, I can't wait to hear this. Okay. So you're going to have to shut down the text a little bit and the communication. You're going to have to say, looking forward to seeing you when you're coming. Or something sexy and says, well, if you have time for me, I'll have something special for you. You're going you're gonna to bait him on. And then you know what? He'll think about it. Maybe he won't communicate. Don't take it as if he's ignoring it. He'll see it. You're just I'm not letting him know hilarious. that you're, okay. well, I, I'm helping you. You don't need to be pouty because it ends up right. coming out. Here's, here's, here's the risk. Is this a little clingy? You can ask yourself that question. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. I know it's hard because right now you have a lot of brain chemistry and you probably want to be together 24 seven. I would mm -hmm. expect, right? All the relationships are like that. I, I, I feel like sadly, like if I'm like, okay, if you're not going to pay attention to me, then I'll find somebody else. Like that's what you don't, I You do. don't have to say it. You demonstrate. I don't say it. Okay. All right. But that's what I do in my head. I'm like, all right. Like I'm, I'm like not a clinger. I'm like, okay, if you're not going to okay. pay attention to me. So here's the thing. Yeah. So here's the thing. It, you, when when you're demanding that attention though and you're doing it through text you're still saying i'm not independent i'm in need and it, right. guess what it's it's okay it's yeah. okay to do a little of that um you know i can see how you're dressed and how you have self-care very feminine so on on the home side of the front what do you think some feminine things you can do to support him and and maybe get that long-term relationship um you like being in his presence right are yes. you are you would you be happy to say cook and clean for him and support his career? Yeah. Yeah. I, again, here's what's really interesting. We're in a position, we're in a position where, again, I, my position will do better. So this is where it's interesting, again, because my, I own my own company. Um, I have to figure out how to allow me to have my own company Mm -hmm. And it flourish and I, you know, water it and do well with it, but still maintain that balance and not feeling like I'm, I'm trying to compete. Cause I think this is going to be an issue in every relationship I'd ever have because of my job. It will, if you have, want the high value man, it will be a little bit of an issue. I know oh. I see your face. I know it will be, but it can yeah. be done. Let me encourage you. There is a way, uh, now, you've got to ask yourself a really honest question, though. Okay. 
if he was successful enough that you did not have to run that business or you could part time it. <laughs> Would I do it? And he was he was the he was that masculine man. Oh and man. He, said, he says, Christy, look, man, I got 10 rentals, they're paid for. I'm a real estate tycoon. I take nice long vacations. I don't need you working full time. I want you to be with me. I want to go do things. I want to ride Harleys. I want to go out there, fly my helicopter. I want to do all these things. I want to take the kids here, take the kids there. How, you know, I got another business on the side. If you're interested, it's part time. Um, I'll, I'll take care of that so that you can have something to do. I just need you to support me in here with me. How would you feel about that? That's an honest question that a woman's yeah, got to honest. ask yourself. <clears throat> honest answer, first reaction right out of the gate is that would be really hard because I've I built the thing and I love it, you know, to throw it away would feel like, <sighs> but, but also the whole purpose of building it was the, to have the intention of being financially sound and stable. So if someone was, I was with was financially sound and stable, then why am I still doing it? You know what I mean? It and I think, mean. Right. So I see, you know, the first, the first re gut reaction is, <gasps> you know, that's my thing, you know, I've grown it. But then looking at the balance and, and all of that, like, I definitely could see myself saying yes, it would be very hard. It would have to definitely be for the right person for sure. So that's a big issue for a lot of women. And it's a trust issue. And they got to be honest with themselves. I think deep down, if you're honest with yourself, I have met many of corporate ladies that are very successful and make very good money. But at the end of the day, I've even been very familiar with them they want in their heart of hearts a man that is more successful than them and gives them the option to be their woman yeah the i mean it would day. be right it, i mean in in my soul if this was it was all laid out and this was everything that it was and they you know had it all together and they welcomed the idea of me doing whatever you know being there for them and going with them on the trips and all that stuff no, I the thought of that's super attractive, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, the no, thought it of it is. is. And I tell these young guys, you have to do get your money right. If you want right. high value women, which you are, you better get your money right because mm -hmm. this is her instinct. This is her drive. Yeah. If you can do that and you can grow up to be a man and, and, and offer that, that is so attractive to women. I think if you're honest with yourself, you're going to find that extremely attractive. Right. And, right. Then, and, then, and then don't look at the small stuff. You know, there's, there's, little irritating things like he didn't text you right away yeah be the high value woman right <laughs> right 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 yes that's a good tip that's a good <laughs>